just a line to the fucking bar, nigga. So this video is part two to the previous video I had released on Cuba and put one and talk about more like things you need to know about coming to Cuba, Airbnbs and other arrangements you need to make, um, talk to some of the locals on their perspective on the country and also explore some of the beaches in Havana. If you haven't seen part one, take a look back uh, in part two, I'm going to talk more about nightlife in Cuba. I'm going to talk about the nightlife in Havana in particular. Uh, some of the clubs I visited, uh, some of the nice scenery, and other things that you can do in Cuba. I'm also going to talk about the Chica situation in Cuba from what I observed. Some of the clubs that I visited where I think you can find Chicas. If you are here hunting or looking for that information, I'm going to talk about it at the end of the video. I'm going to show it to you. So next, now let's talk about the nightlife, right? Um, I'm going to talk about most of the nightclubs I visited here in Havana give you guys some great insight into some of the hottest nightclubs a lot of the nightclubs in Havana they are all scattered they like not into like one place um, but you know you have some areas that you have more like cluster of nightclubs in one area I'm gonna talk about that too so a lot of times getting from one nightclub to another one you have to take a taxi I'm also give you, gonna give you the landmark of where these clubs are, where you want to stay, if you want to stay in this location. I'll show you guys a map. So note that a lot of the nightclubs, most of them start kind of late uh, because they are open up to like uh, four to six o'clock in the morning. So just be aware of that. Some of the bars and nightclubs that I visited in Havana that I'm gonna be talking about in the segment includes uh, El M Bar, uh, Pasha Habana, 2.45, Mio Tio, La Havana, Johnny nightclub VNS bar and also art factory. I also visited a few other bars that I can talk about but these are like the main ones that I would like to uh, talk about in this video uh, so uh, pay attention to uh, the segment and my insight into uh, where they are located at and what to expect when visiting these bars. So I think uh, the best way to be able to effectively talk about the nightclubs or the nightlife in Cuba is to look at it from a two different perspectives. When I say two different perspectives, that I look at it from like a regular nightclub versus a Chica's nightclub. So what I mean by regular nightclub. So um, so Cuba is not like other countries like in the Caribbean that you have like a open pop like area of like where you have like a rally discreet or like where you have like hustlers where you have like working girls or you have the bus teacher just opening in the in a broad for everybody to see it right so it, it does exist and i'm going to talk about that in um at the end of this video i'm going to talk i'm going to give you my whole insight into this uh secret part of cuba that people don't know about but first let's talk about some of the regular nightclubs and bars when i say regular nightclub that does not mean that uh, these things like um, prostitutions or like working girls does not exist. From, from a touristic standpoint, it looks more like to be a regular nightclub that you would see anywhere. Like if you were in America or if you were in Europe or you were just on a vacation with your family. I visited one of them. The biggest one in Cuba is called Art Factory. And then on the second part, keep watching to the end of it, I'm going to talk about uh, Chica's nightclub. When I say Chica nightclub, this is not known to be Chica's like how you go all the countries like this is the Chica spot and this is the Chica spot. But from my perspective, standing in a nightclub and just looking around, it does exist in Cuba. So I'm going to talk about that and give you guys some insight information. If you are on vacation, like a bachelor party or just visiting Cuba and you just want to party, uh, whatever you want to do so you can have the options. So the first one let's talk about is Arc Factory. This is a regular nightclub. One of the best nightclubs I've ever been to. Let's check out Arc Factory. So the next club I'm going to talk about is called Arc Factory. Uh, we have like 10 different nightclubs or plus 10 clubs into one 
It's simply, right? It's basically a nightclub mall. It's a big building that you just have tons of nightclubs. Very artistically decorated. The walls are all painted. You have uh, billboards. You have like record players. It's been put together. If you're into art, you just want to check this out. Like all genre of music, you have like Afrobeats, like pop music, reggaeton. Uh, it's packed. It's like probably like 10,000 people in there. Like um, this is like if you're in Cuba, if you're in the Havana area visiting Cuba and you want to have a good night, check this place out. It's very popular. Tons of people. The lines goes all around to uh, the corner. Right? It's one of the biggest nightclub I've ever visited, both in America or around the world. This is just excellent. Let's check it out. This is a bar in Cuba. This is called the Art Factory. This is the line to that shit. This shit is packed as fuck. This shit is packed. I never seen nothing like this. Like, this is Cuba though. Like, you definitely gotta check this shit out. I hope it's good. Like, because I was gonna leave. So as you can see in this video clip, uh, the line is very long to get into the nightclub, but it's, it actually goes faster. Um, when, once you get to the door, you have to pay a little small fee to get into the club where they gave you a stem card. The stem card is what you're going to use to purchase any drink. But how it works is that every time you want to drink in there, they have to stem that card. And then when you're coming back outside, you pay uh, your total tap at the door coming out. So they gave you these things right so you pay your money you get these little cards these cards are like every drink you want you uh whenever you buy a drink you're gonna skimp it when you come up you're gonna pay for it over there so that's why people are paying for like uh the drinks when they leave the club so you can drink all night and when you lose it it's like five grand it's like five thousand pesos so you gotta make sure you keep it you gotta keep it on you As you can see right now, just enter this nightclub, right? You start from like the first level and you just start to walk through up the nightclub. Throughout the nightclub, you just go from one room to another room to the next level to the next level. So they have clubs on like every floor, like right? three or four different levels they have. And each level has like probably like five to ten rooms of like nightclubs they go like circles so sometimes you i was kind of like lost like they didn't know how to get back to the exit and that's how it's set up so just check it out so this is one of the rooms here as you can see the dj
and as you can see in this video like the art galleries on the wall they are just astonishingly beautiful in another club so this is like the VIP section over here I'm gonna check it out right now So in summary to me, Art Furniture gave you that great nightclub experience and also it's a regular nightclub as I was saying previously. So definitely if you are in advantage trying to party locally with the locals, trying to party with some tourists, trying to party with people from all walks of life, you gotta definitely check this out. And to play all genre of music, Afrobeats, hip hop, techno, whatever music you want to hear to play, you have 10 to 15 rooms of nightclubs and entertainment, very artistically uh, put together and decorated. Uh, I just give you that whole nightlife experience. Definitely recommend it. So don't forget to at the end of the club, you got to pay for your STEM card on your way out. This is a video clip showing me paying my STEM card on my way out of the nightclub. So the next one I want to talk about is called the Johnny Nightclub. It's not far from the Art Factory. It's like probably like five minutes away. This is one of the most beautiful nightclubs I ever seen. This thing was built to a nightclub standard. You notice the QR code don't have much money, but the nightclubs are all built to authenticity. Uh, there's a small fee to get into the nightclub. This is one of the regular ones that I think is regular. And when I said regular nightclubs, I'm not just saying that these are all regular people there. You still have Cubans there. You can still have some chicas in the crowd. But I'm just saying that this one is one of the regular ones that I've seen. And just so you know that when you Google this, if you were to Google this nightclub, uh, the name is going to come out. It's real club. But on the building, you have Johnny Nightclub. So just know that when you if you were to Google it. So, so, so you gotta pay here. You pay out the door. That's it. So you gotta pay.
So next in this video, let's talk about the second kind of nightclub scenery in Cuba that I observe, meaning that although these nightclubs are considered to be regular nightclubs, however, from an overall perspective, you have a lot of chicas, meaning that there are a lot of other women that are observed that are obviously just standing around in a nightclub that you can meet that would definitely prefer to go out with a tourist for your money. However, since these things are not legal in Cuba, it's not full blown out in the open like other countries in the Caribbean, it's like South America. I'm not saying that all these women in these nightclubs are chicas, but I mean these are some of the best places to hang out if you're out here hunting and maybe you will find one. So check it out for yourself and let me know. So the first one I'm going to start with is called uh, LM Bar, right? So LM Bar is this, uh, it's considered to be this like Afro Cuban uh, kind of nightclub. So it's kind of located in like the northwestern area of the city in this neighborhood called like Siba, local uh, residential neighborhood of the city. Um, there are other clubs around there like uh, Mio Tio 2.45 as you can see on the map. So from where I was staying in like Fidero, which is in New Havana, it was like 15-20 minutes ride to uh, this part of the city. So let's definitely check it out. Um, there was a small fee to enter. It's like 250 pesos, which is like about 50 cents. So I kind of visited it like two of the nights I was in Cuba. So this photo shoot is going to show both of the nights that I visited. L M bar. Check it out.
in general, LAM is a very nice nightclub to play uh, reggaeton, hip hop, Afro beats, and to play like pop music, whatever. Give you that whole nightclub experience. Um, you, you see people there from all walks of life. The states, people there from like uh, South Africa, I saw it's do Europe, uh, Russia, like China, like you know, it's a nice, vibrant nightclub. The only one disadvantage is that the bouncers are not friendly. They are very rude. Even if you look at the uh, Google's uh, review on LM and Cuba, you will see a lot of people comments about this, and you can see a lot of comments on like. Uh, accountability of the bouncers, how to treat uh, their customers, and I seen it beforehand when I was there. And I noticed that there was a lot of fights. It was not a fight between people in the club. It was a fight between people in the bouncers, like hitting this dude because he was standing from the VIP section with, with with how they approached me. And I had to pull one of the bouncers in this place, which I got into a heated argument that I had to leave the nightclubs. Yeah, so uh, just be very careful with the bouncers and their style of uh, this club. Next, let's talk about the rest of the other nightclubs I visited in Cuba. Uh, you'll notice that some of the nightclubs were kind of like empty because like, uh, I don't know. Um, in Cuba, I just, you know, that a lot of the clubs um, goes until like four to six o'clock in the morning. So um, going to the club early, it's like most, most likely it's going to be empty. So you really want to go out um, kind of like late, like 11, 12 o'clock at least. Chevrolet. Oh, Chevrolet. Chevrolet. What year is this? 1959? What year? 1949. Oh, uh, uh, 1957. Oh, no. New Haven. Uh, so, 1959. New Haven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's saying, uh, uh, whatever. It's like, it's like the 50s and shit. Like, look at this shit. Like, it's a taxi and shit. I got original staring. It's like, uh, it's like a wood staring. This one is called Ula Habana Bar. It's located like five minutes away from LM Bar. Um, it's very authentic. It's beautiful inside. So talking to the taxi driver and a few people in the area that it gets ready to pack on the weekend. But the day I was there, it was not that pack. So as I learned too, it's one of the nightclubs you definitely want to check out if you're out here hunting for the ladies. Um, I went early, it was on my first day, I didn't know, and it was also on a Thursday, so it was kind of empty. So here yeah, we got some of the reason it might have been empty. So I think you definitely want to check it out in Havana if you have some time. I think you are going to have a good time, not sure, but definitely check it out. Ula Habana, let's check out this next club called Mio Tio. All of them is in the same area. They're like five minutes away in this part of Havana. There are a lot of nightclubs in this neighborhood. And Mio Tio, by the way, is considered to be one of the most popular nightclubs in Havana where you have a lot of, not just chicas, but you have a lot of like uh, tourists uh, and they play a lot of good music, they play Afro beats. It's considered to be like pop reggae nightclub. But the night I was visiting on a Thursday night, my first day in, in Havana, I and mean, I went early, super early. It was not a pack much empty it's just DJ was just warming up the floor but you can see from this photo shoes you can see how it's set up it's sort of like a regular nightclub it's just wicked nice definitely recommend it uh, if you're in Havana check out Mio Tio so in the next next part of this video right I'm gonna take you guys to the next nightclub it's called VS Bar it's located in like the downtown area uh, of all Havana that's where you have a lot of the uh, activities during the daytime it's busy you have the capitol building you have a lot of stuff going it's almost it's, it reminds you like if you've been like anywhere like uh all hispanic city it's like the colonial type city where you have like a war it's almost like a war city like you know similar city in like panama or, like colombia so in havana there are a lot of bars located in the proximity of this area which is all havana but i stay in the data which is like considered to be like new havana so the distance is between like uh new havana the dedo where I was staying to like all Havana is like uh two point five kilometers, which could like five minutes uh, taxi ride could be like a twenty five minutes walk. So that night I just walked the street from uh New Havana where I was staying to uh, the bar that was located in the downtown area. Um, the reason why I did it was it, it was it was due to two reasons that I had to walk. Uh, one of the reasons was that in Cuba, just so you know that it, you can just stop a taxi like 
from wherever you're at, right? You have to go to uh, strategic location. When I say strategic location, it's like a landmark that the taxi is going to be there waiting for you, or you know, like a hotel that you know, the, like the uh, reception can just call on a taxi and they'll come to the hotel and pick it up. But standing on the street at nighttime trying to stop a taxi, you're never going to find one. So you got to go to like the main spots that have like the hotels to be able to um, get a taxi. If you're on a roll like this, I'm here like 11 o'clock in the night and it's like fucking like no cars on the fucking road. You got to go to locations that have taxi stops. <laughs> Shit is crazy, man. I'm walking around trying to get a taxi. I can't even get a fucking taxi. Hotel President. So this is like the central location where they should have taxis at. Right now, I'm trying to, you can get a taxi for the screen. You gotta come to a strategic point. Let's see this motherfucker right here. How much he charge? A taxi? No gasoline. Oh, no gasoline. No gasoline. See, he said there's no gas in the car, so I'm gonna get a taxi. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, that night it was kind of hard for me to find a taxi from where I was at, so I just decided to walk the street. The streets are just calm. It's very safe. Uh, there are just tons of people like at the waterfall, at the Malacan, just sitting down. Uh, there are lights, street lights all the place. Yo, Cuba at night, like, there's nothing to be scared of. Like, this shit is like fucking like safe as fuck. They have more cops here than even like people. Like, one cop to every two person that is in this country. Six million cops, 11 million people. Like, this shit is streets. This is streets of Cuba. At nighttime, this shit is fucking like, like, like no harassment, anything. Like niggas don't even come to you. Like in like other countries and bagging the shit. It's just empty as fuck. I was overall impressed of how safe the city is at nighttime. So as I mentioned previously, there are a lot of bars in this area of Old Havana. So on my way to Venus Bar, I stopped to feel the bars in this area. One of the bars stopped to was called X and Y Bar. Let's check it out first and then we'll check out Venus Bar after. X and Y is this beautiful little nightclub in Havana. As you can see in the video clip, uh, the nightclub is actually built to standards, it has a whole nine yard. When I was there, it was kind of a little not packed yet because it was early. As I said, a lot of nightclubs open late because it go until like six o'clock in the morning. So I ended up having a few drinks and then I left uh, when the VNS, which was right around the corner. Um, however, I learned that this nightclub is one of the nightclubs that, although you have a lot of chicas in there, you also have a lot of tourists that goes there. When I was there, there were a few girls coming in. Um, I don't know if they were chicas or they were like regular girls, but um, there were girls coming in when I was leaving and when I was there. So definitely, you may want to check it out if you are in Havana on that other level. So there are bars right down here, it's like downtown Old Havana, this area is like a district of nightclubs. Shit. PSP.
So in summary to me, a VNS bar is that local spot that whenever you travel, no matter whatever country you go to, you are looking to find that authentic local connection, that authentic local spot. You had a lot of locals in there. The guys were locals, the girls were locals. It wasn't like much tourists in there like other bars I have shown in this video like LM and like Art Factory and all the other bars. This was the regional local spot that I think the Cuban goes to. Uh, the food was excellent. I had dinner in there. Excellent. Um, also to me, there were a lot of chicas in there. I didn't ask nobody for their names, whatever. But to me, there were a lot of chicas. So to me, if you are in Havana and looking for that type of lifestyle, you definitely want to check it. Check out the spot. The music is was good. They played up that authentic Spanish music. Play Afro beats. Um, it's right downtown or Havana. You can mix it in that area. You have a lot of bars in this area, so definitely check it out. I'm gonna recommend this one. Uh, this was one of the best bars that I visited in Havana. So in summary, man, this is my take on Cuba, man. Definitely recommend it for the following reasons. Um, the country is called for authentic, very beautiful country. The people are friendly. The Cuban culture is vibrant. If you like authenticity, it's right here. The dollars go strong, stretches far beyond other Caribbean countries that I've been to. To me, vacation in Cuba is the same meaning as you can do most of whatever you can do in other countries as a tourist, including like the beach left, the tours, living at a five-star Airbnb and hotel, getting the best food you can find and eat for a penny on a dollar. If you like the nightlife, the nightlife is also here in Cuba, including like regular nightclubs like anywhere in America or other countries you ever been. If you are traveling with the intent or the sole purpose of meeting like women or chicas in the nightclubs, it's definitely here from my observation. It does coexist as shown in the video clips that I just shown. Also, Cuba is only like 45 minutes away from Miami, so looking for a quick getaway uh, for a penny on a dollar and having a good time definitely check out Cuba. The only downside to the whole thing is the disparities that does exist in Cuba where most of the locals and the people here are very poor with nothing. But you visiting as a tourist, trust me, you definitely gonna have a good time and you're gonna have one of the best vacation in your life. That's my take on it. Hit me up, leave me your comments and your questions. I will definitely try to get back to you, but I'm definitely gonna be back. Adios.